Hey there, YouTube. Welcome to Let's Play Darkest Dungeon. Uh, this game came out, I believe, about a week ago, and I just bought it. I have not played it, and we're gonna we're gonna play it right here. Uh, we're not gonna name it Darkest. We're gonna name it Beat Boop. Okay. Now what do we do? No, 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 no. Beat Boop. Beep. Boop. Let's go. Alright. There we go. <sighs> so, I've only watched uh, people play this game. I have not played it myself, as I mentioned. And it seems right up my alley. And uh, it appears very similar to Adventurer Manager, which is why I'm going to be uploading this instead of Adventurer Manager. So... That is something that's going to happen. Also because this is newer, the graphics are much nicer. People are going to find it probably a lot more interesting. But uh, we got medical ward treatments can sometimes wipe out more than one disease. Fantastic. All right, what do we got here? We got Reynold. Okay. Uh, you are currently in a room. To move forth, click on another room on the map display. This will take you to the connecting hallway. Okay. We click. We move. While in the hallway, press D to move forward, A to move back. If you prefer the mouse, you can click ahead or behind the party to move them. I prefer the keyboard, because it makes less noise. Ooh, what do we got here? We got uh, this guy, this brigand cutthroat. Kill the enemy! Combat is turn-based. On your hero's turn, click a skill icon and then click on a highlighted target. If you can't select a particular skill, it's because that hero needs to be standing in a different spot or there are no valid targets. Mouse over the skill to see the requirements. Okay. So what do we got here? We got open vein, grape shot blast. Can't use pistol shot because there's no valid targets. Can't use tracking shot. 100% uh, bleed base, damage mod, accuracy base. Yeah, let's go, uh, let's go bleed here. What's your bleed resist? 20. Let's see if we get that bleed. He had 80% chance, and he resisted it. What a dick. And uh, he uppercut slice. We dodged. Suck it. Uh, brigand cutthroat. Let's see, what do we got here? We got smite. Plus 15% damage versus unholy. You are not unholy. Stunning blow. And bulwark of faith. Torch plus 6. Interesting. We're, gonna, we're just going to smite, because it'll probably kill him. There we go. Dope. Victory. We got 100 gold, and let's keep on keep on trucking over here. What do we got here? Interactive objects, curios. While exploring, you will find often find interactive objects. Click or press W to investigate them. Take a look at this tent. Okay, click. Clearly, where the ambushers camp. What do we got here? Brigands left valuables. We got onyx. 500 gold each, I like it, and gold. Alright. Is, uh, is that it then? We, how do we... Okay, we press we press W to move on to the next room. Oh, snap. We surprised him, though. I think that's good. Friggin' blood letter. Got 20% bleed resist. And you also have a 20% bleed resist. Okay. So we're gonna go open vein, so we get some some bleeding on this guy. Yes, we got the bleed, fantastic. We are going to do zealous accusation, so we can hit both of them. Four to eight. Hello. Whatever. Oh wait, what? Why did we only hit one of them? Weird. Blanket fire, dodge. Suck it. Suck it, bitch. Point blank shot. Who's using point blank shot? Ow. Very ow. I resisted something though. Debuff? Blanket fire. Why are you going again? Hold up. Hold hold the hold the frick up. Pistol shot. I guess you're in like the second position or something. I don't know. Four to eight, four to eight. With a fifteen percent chance to crit. Let's go. Bang. And what do we have here? Rain of Whips. Dodge. Suck it. Uh, I don't quite understand. What's your speed? Negative one. Speed is six. What's our speed? One. 
and I can't tell what this guy's is. All right, uh, stunning blow, bulwark of faith. Let's see, you got two damage for one more round. How much damage does that do? Six to twelve. Yeah, let's do it. Sweet. All right, so that guy's gonna die on his next turn, so we don't have to deal with him anymore. And oh, we have seven speed. Dope. Uh, we're just gonna pistol shot this guy in the back then. We're gonna pistol whip that mother. Blanket fire. One and three. Uh, I mean, it's not the worst thing. This is like the only thing in the dungeon, I think. And then this guy moves up. And then I'm just gonna bash him over the head. Hopefully that'll hit and kill. There we go. Let's see, we got four deeds, four crests, and 500 gold. Let's just take it. Quest complete. After you've completed the requirements of a crest, you have the option to return to town at any time. Just click the crest. You don't need to return to the starting room of the dungeon to exit. Cool. Um, I'm going to continue adventuring because I want this chest right here. What do we got? Uh, I don't have anything to put. It's trapped. Oh, no. I mean, we got blight, but I don't know what blight does because we can just leave. See, we got 5,000 for quest rewards. We got 1135 from uh, our treasure here. And we got we got the heirlooms. We got two resolve XP. And what do we got here? We got stress eater. Plus 100% food consumed if stress is above 50. I don't like that. I do not. All right, we got now an apprentice highwayman, an apprentice crusader, quest goals, caretaker goals. Okay, successfully complete the first foray into the ruins. Cool. What? Wait, what? Get help where you may. Press H. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Where are you? Stagecoach. Recruit new heroes. Stagecoach is your hero lifeblood. Awesome. We got a plague doctor and a vestal. Let's let's get both. Do we? Hello? There we go. We got Pippin and Selly. And what do we got here? Graveyard? Are we just view fallen heroes? That's annoying. A sobering visit with the departed. And let's see. These are quests. House of Ruin. Old Road. What's House of Ruin? What 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 did I just do? What happened? No. Oh, these are just... Got it. Succeed in your first assault. Succeed in your second assault. Third assault. The Beep Boop Estate. Okay. Uh, let's see what we got here. I'm going to rename this guy. Uh, our fearless leader. That's going to be me. Uh, Dismas. This is gonna be this is gonna be Leo Oop. he is not carrot foot hacks he is six foot hacks and then we got Selly over here that's gonna be Captain Bravo that's gonna be land Oof, excuse me and Pippin is gonna be Keo, it's gonna be Keo 392. Why is it not registering half the things? All right, uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna, what is this? What do you mean? Oh, well, we're embarking over here. Yeah, we need to unlock all that stuff. So we're gonna embark. What do we got here? Test yourself in the mad realm of your fallen ancestor. Take note of how the creatures have taken over, but don't delve too far. Explore 90% of rooms. Okay. Build a party from the roster. We're going to start with me up front again. And then we're going to put Leo in the second spot. I shall be a soldier against corruption. Good for you, buddy. And then, let's see. Noxious Blast, Emboldening Vapors, Disorienting Blast. Okay, you can use all your skills from that position. And what can Keo do? Back, 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 back. Awesome. Keo can use all his skills from there, too. So let's provision. Yes, okay. Uh, whoa. You'll want to take different supplies depending on what region you are going to, how long the quest is, and your own preferences. But always bring some food and torches. For your first short quest, try bringing at least eight food and four torches. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight food. 
Let's bring five torches. And then we're going to bring a key, some band-aids, and a shovel. Alright, let's do it. We're about ten minutes in. Uh, these episodes are probably going to be about, you know, 25 to 30 minutes long. So, yeah, this is this is exciting. This is, again, the fir very first time I've played this. Uh, we can click to continue. Right-click on a hero's image or portrait at any time to bring up blah, blah, blah. I already got that. And let's move to this room. Let's see what we got here. March, friends. Don't tell me what to do, Keo. What do we got here? What do we got here? We salvage the unburned torch. Dope. A boon at last. What is this? Oh. We got, we got scouting here. Uh, let's click on a torch. Click on a torch? Right click on a torch to use it. Okay. Oh. Alright, so we got uh, two bone rebels. They do not bleed. So we should not use bleeding attacks. What do we got here? Emboldening vapors. Disorienting blast. Interesting. Noxious blast. It it looks like it does damage and it inflicts blight. And it can do it on either one. Let's go that one. Since they only have 10% blight resistance. Awesome. We got blight. You're still surprised. And... What are you? Tracking shot? Blah, blah, blah. Alright, we're going to do grape shot blast. Because it'll do 3 to 5 to each. It'll do 5 to each. Go RNG. Uh, 4 damage for 3 rounds. Yeah, we don't know, need to do anything to him anymore. Dazzling Light. It's a stun. Judgment is a self-heal. Divine Grace is a heal. And Divine Comfort is a party heal. I like that. But we're going to judge this guy. Can we not judge that guy? Oh, I didn't click on judge it. There we go. Corpses. When monsters die, they leave corpses. They have just temporary obstacles and eventually go away on their own. You can attack them to destroy them faster. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. I guess we should just kill that guy anyway, even though we don't have to. We took no damage from that, so that's awesome. Uh, what do we got here? We got an unlocked strong box. Let's see what's in here. The contents are yours. We got a shovel, onyx, and more gold. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, we have scouting. I don't know what that does. Okay, very nice. Uh, room battle with Curio. Interesting. But first, we gotta move along here. What do we have here? Good thing we took a shovel, even though we just got a shovel. Why did we get hurt, and why did we get stressed? Let's pop a torch. Keep our light up here high. We want to surprise people. And there we go. Did we surprise them? No, but they did not surprise us either. Alright, uh, you have no skills. Three to five on each. Yeah, let's go for grape shot. Three, four, and four. That's actually pretty good. Stressful incantation. And we dodged it. Suck it! Good job, Leo. Alright, Land, what do we got here? We got plague grenade, which gives blight. What's disorienting blast? Clears enemy corpses. Damage mod minus 100. No thank you. We're going to do Noxious Blast on Bone Soldier. Because he has more HP, and I would like to deal damage to him quickly. See? There we go. It's a graveyard slash. We did the slash. We did the monster slash. The monster slash. Alright, let's see what we want to do with Judgment here. 4 to 8, 4 to 8, 3 to 7. Let's kill this guy. You don't watch Roundtable, do you? No, I do not, John. Uh, for those who don't know, Roundtable Podcast is uh, something that Northern Lion does. I've mentioned him before. He plays Bunny of Isaac uh, fairly regularly. And if we can get Eldritch Push. What? Resisted. Haha, -ha, suck it. Uh, what do we got here? What's the disorienting blast? Enemy party clears all corpses. Okay. Bam. That's a stun chance, right? Yes, and we got the stun chance. And they got some stress relief. 
We're going to heal Leo, because we have that extra turn that this guy has stun on him. And we're going to try and bleed this guy. And we missed. God damn it, Leo. But it's okay. Are you unholy? No, you're human? What? Whatever. It's all right. You have two HP left. All right, Leo. This is, this is your time. Thank you. All right, wow, we got a good amount of gold, a couple food, very nice. And let's keep on moving. And let's go to the next room. Nothing in here? Yeah, nothing really in here. Uh, no, we just did that room. We're in here, right? This is room battle with treasure, room battle with curio. That's a curio, that's a curio. Let's go to the room battle with treasure. It seems This seems like the right thing to do. Why are you stressed out? Oh, probably because it's getting dark. Let's pop a torch. Pop a torch. Daddy torch. Oop. Whistles. What? Why? Contains loot. Why? I'll be keeping this for myself. Reward hard earned. Wait, why? Oh, you're a klepto. Will only pray for stress relief. Prone to stealing items. Plus 10% damage if torch above 75. Minus 20% weapon upgrade cost. Nice, Keo. Death blow resist. That's, oh, you're a klepto too? Man! Plus 20 stress if torch below 26. Obsessed with food. Man, land. I'm obsessed with food too, though. It's okay. Not allowed to gamble while in town. Hard noggin. Sun resist. Two speed. No stress penalty when walking backwards. And plus 1% crit. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Before we go in here, pop a torch. We should have brought more torches. We got one, two, three rooms left. Is that 90%? I don't know. But we didn't surprise them. They didn't surprise us. Hmm, what are your stun resists? 25, 25. Boldening vapors. Plague grenade. Let's play grenade. It only hits that one, huh? Light, four points, three rounds. It's got a two percent crit mod. Let's see, he's good. This guy has a really low percent, low uh, crit percent. So we're gonna, excuse me, blight resist. There we go. So we're gonna do that to him. And do we want to three to five, three to four, three to five? Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna grape shot three four three. Not bad. How much? He has five health left, so he's basically going to be dead. Take one damage, 15 stress. That's okay, I guess. But, oh, I was going to say, you better dodge that graveyard slash. But, nope, nope, nope. Ren for the old gods. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, we're bleeding. Okay, that's fine. But we're going to heal Keo for five damage. I like it. That's, I think that was the max for the RNG. Can't staunch the flow. Uh, my hero is bleeding. Use a bandage. Right click on the bandage while it's injured hero's turn. Got it. Uh, what's your resistance to stun? 25, huh? Hmm. I mean, I probably won't try to attack you again. So we're going to go stunning blow on this dude here. Let's hope we get the stun. Nope. We do not. Fantastic. And by fantastic, I mean, god damn. We got Emboldening Vapors, Play Grenade, Noxious Blast, has 100% base. Yeah, let's try and get some Blight on this guy. Do some D.O.T. And we get the Blight. Sweet. Pistol Shot, Open Vein. Let's try and get the Bleed on him, too. 20% Bleed. Bam. Oh yeah, this guy, this guy is dead his next turn. He's down to 2 HP. Now, let's hope I can dodge, never mind, I was going to say let's hope I can dodge the stressful incantation, but it's okay, our stress doesn't look too bad here, and there's two down, one to go, and we're going to take advantage of this, we're going to heal Leo again, and we crit healed, crit heal, really? I didn't even know that was possible, but what's your, what's your stun? 25, huh? How much does this do? 6 to 12, yeah, give it a shot, 8. Not bad. We have two? Yeah. And what's the hit chance here? 72. 
67. Let's go with the 72. I think that's better. And we hit. Awesome. So that is this. We get another skeleton key. Uh, let's use one of these. Ooh, it unlocks a hidden compartment. What do we got here? We got crests and gold. I dig it. And we're here. So let's move to here. Uh, do we need torch? I mean, we could, but we only have two. Everything runs red. Oh, but your bleed is your bleed is gone. That's fine. Oh, there's a trap. What does the trap even look like? I, it doesn't look like you took damage from the trap. The light is fading. The current torch level greatly affects many mechanics in the game. The darker it gets, the harder many things get, but the better the rewards. Right click on a torch. Okay. Figured that much out. So we got plus stress, plus loot, and player, player, player crits. Okay. So, hmm. See, is there nothing in here? No, it doesn't look like there's anything in here. Alright, so we're going to move to the next room. And it looks like we got a backpack here. The pack contains loot. And what do we got here? We got jade. We got a protection stone. We got more food. And we got a lot of food here. Okay. So let's let's eat some of this food. One, two. Uh, I mean, you're the really the only... I'm, excuse me. I am really the only one that needs it. Uh, we have one torch left. Hunger, that's fine. So we have a crap ton of food. And here we go. Anything in this room? No? Alright, next room. And we are definitely going to pop that torch now. Just to try and keep it as high as possible. And it's a good thing we brought that shovel. There we go. Why are we taking damage? Watch your feet in this Merc. I should have brought... Hello? We should run. Stop being scared. We can do this. We'll probably get surprised, though. Yes? No? No. No surprise. Awesome. Uh, What's their plague resist? Or blight resist? Nothing. So let's see if we can get him. Yes. We've got blight on both of them. The bone arbalest. He quarrels with Keo. I would quarrel with Keo, too. He's kind of a jerk. Nah, he's not a jerk. He's a good guy. Hmm. What's your bleed resist, buddy? 200. Never, <laughs> never mind. We're just going to pop these guys in the face. That guy's almost dead. He's going to die on his next turn, it looks like. Tempting Goblet. What does that do? It does stress damage. You're not going to die here, Leo. Stop being such a wuss. You are very stressed, though. You're taking a lot of damage again. I have one new item in my inventory. Fantastic. Hmm. What's the stun resist here? Let's see, 25, 25, 10, 10. Hmm. Let's try and stun this bone defender here. Did we get it? Yeah, we did. Go us. Go us. Alright. Zealous Accusation. How much does it do? 3 to 6, 3 to 7. Okay. What about Stunning Blow? Bulwark of Faith. Are these guys unholy? These are unholy. Okay. What do we got here? 6 to 12, 5 to 10. Let's take care of this guy, because it'll, it'll kill him, thankfully. So... Let's see what we got here. That guy's dead, so we're we're two down, two to go. That guy only has six HP, and he's got damage for one more round. You gotta stop hitting Keo. Like that is we're gonna go pistol shot though. Four to eight. Let's hope we get it. Seven. Sweet. Alright, so now we just got this guy to worry about here. Noxious blast. Play grenade. We're gonna go for noxious blast. Hopefully we get that blight. Yeah, we get that blight. And we're going to go for smite, because this is our last room. And we crit. I am a god. I banish thee. We got 
Ooh, grave robber only. Plus 40% blight skill chance, plus 1 speed, minus 2 dodge. Very nice. And we got the quest complete. We're going to continue adventuring, though. Because we got this. We're going to pop the skeleton key in there. Unlocks a hidden compartment. I like. I like. Did we fit everything in here? One, two, three. Yes. Okay. So we're done. We're done. There we go. The first of many victories. Collected treasure. Looks like we got a nice amount of treasure. I think. We got a lot of money for that food. And by a lot of money, we got like five gold for each of those food. And we got a bunch of heirlooms. I guess these are our heirlooms here. Alright, next. Let's see what we got here. Let's, what trait did I get? Tuckered out. Minus 10 damage if HP below 50. That sucks. Hylomania. Obsessed with material things. That also sucks. Oh man, can we get one good trait, Keo? Early riser. Plus 2 speed if torched above 75. Plus 20 stress damage during beast. Keo, why are you scared of animals? That's annoying. Alright, uh, severe negative quirks. Those are with the little skull things. Cost much more to remove in a sanitarium. Okay. Alright, so these are... These are... Holy crap. Uh, week 2. Tavern. Tavern is now unlocked. Abbey. The Abbey is now unlocked. Ruins. The Ruins have been unlocked. Keo and Bravo are apprentices. And by Bravo, I mean land. Successful in... Sh bleh. Successful in exploring the ruins. Alright, so that is weeks one and two. Let's just check in here. Stress relief. I'm pretty sure these are just both for stress relief. Uh, that being said, people, people are pretty stressed up in here. So we're going to check. We've got an occultist and a jester. Alright, like, <laughs> why not take both here? What's this? Ooh, we can upgrade upgrade it. Increases number of available heroes to three. Increases the size of hero roster to twelve. So we're gonna upgrade that. Um we need to unlock these. What about the Abbey? Peace through meditation. Alright, but why why are you hogging the cloister here? Increases stress recovery. I think that's just the same thing for here, right? Okay, so that's it for episode one. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked, very nice. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button. It helps out a whole lot. If you really enjoyed the video and you're not subscribed already, the subscribe button is right to the left of the like button. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.